Hey guys, it's Lauren and welcome back to my channel for the love of, if you're joining me for the first time, I want to say welcome and thank you for taking the time to click on this top five video. If you're a returning viewer or subscriber, welcome on back. You guys, today's going to be a little bit of a different video. We're not doing a candle haul. We're not doing an unboxing. We're not doing an empties haul. Let me move back a little bit. I feel like I'm like halfway cut off. Okay. Anyhow, so those of you who followed me on Instagram, I want to say thank you. So I did a, I guess you could say poll yesterday, yesterday evening. So I don't have any more candles, um, upcoming, you know, unboxings or anything, reviews coming for you guys, at least yet. I have one Goose Creek order coming and that's because they had $1.99 wax melts. I needed to stock up. Some of the scents are repeats that I've already talked about, but I do have some new ones coming. Other than that, there's not really any other fall scents I'm eyeballing. Ooh, the lighting changed. I hope that's not overlit. Side note, by the way, I know I can be rambly, but I hope you guys are liking kind of the new setup. It's so much easier to film in here, and the lighting is kind of, you know, on and off because now it changed, so I hope that's not too backlit. But I hope you guys are liking it. I think we're going to keep it. I think we're going to keep this setup. Anyhow. So I really don't have anything coming up for you guys. Um, my empties box is halfway filled, halfway empty, and I'm not going to do a review or uh, empties haul right now because I'm still burning down on my other fragrances. Figured what better time to do a top five list than right now because I really didn't have anything else to film for you guys. And I guess get asked quite a bit about my top five, you know, what's your favorite fragrance or what's your number one candle of all time? What's the strongest candle you've ever burned? So I figured, let me throw up a poll on Instagram. Would you guys rather see me do top five fall fragrances or top five strongest candles? Resounding top five strongest candles. So it's the name of this title. That's why you guys clicked on the video. You want to see what my top five strongest candles I've burned are. So let's jump into it. All right, you guys. So let's jump into the top five strongest candles that I've ever burned. Disclaimer. You guys will see me throwing up pictures, uh, little screenshots on the screen here as I go through this list. I researched for like 45 minutes last night, you guys, because I had a feeling the top five strongest was going to be the winner. And um, I found pictures of the candles that were the strongest in that particular form. So some of the packaging is going to look old. It's going to be from older collections. Those are the ones I'm talking about. I know there's batch variances in some sense like pumpkin pecan waffles, in my opinion, has changed over time. So the ones I'm talking about on here, you'll see them up on the screen. The packaging might look kind of old, but those are the versions I'm talking about that were the strongest that I've burned. First and foremost, I have like three front runners because this list would be completely pretty much taken up by three candles that we all know, at least in my opinion, are some of the strongest fragrances. So I have three that aren't really part of the list, so you guys are actually gonna get a list of eight instead of five. So first two front runners that we all know are some of the strongest candles, Summer Boardwalk and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. So I'm gonna throw them up on the screen right now. These are the two strongest candles that I've burned, um, the versions that popped up on the screen. Summer Boardwalk, I remember burning that for the first time maybe like four years ago. Do I have the year of it on here? I think it was maybe 2015, that packaging from. Same for Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. It might have been 2016. And um, House Filling, super, super strong. I think it's undeniable. We all know those two are the strongest. Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, the first year I burned it, I believe it was 2015 or 2016. It had... Um, a little bit of a different scent. Now it's a little more heavy on an amaretto type note, but back then it, it, it was strong, uh, but strong in a different way. The scent was just a little bit different. The amaretto wasn't as strong and it was a little more, um, almost a little more gourmand and had more of a syrupy waffly type scent, at least to me. So anyhow, those two we know, super strong fragrances. No shocker, they're Bath & Body Works candles. We all know that they make the strongest candles out there for the most part. So those are my top front runners. And then I do have one other one I'm gonna throw up on the screen. That's none other than Leaves. And I could not find the version of Leaves that I burned for the first time like four years ago. Um, it was in a deco glass green jar. And I remember lighting that up and I go, oh my gosh, this thing's insanely strong. 
but the version I just posted would also one of uh, the collections from that year. I think it was 2015. Anyhow, leaves, as we all know, undeniably strong, even to this year. Um, I can't even burn leaves that much anymore because it's that strong. So leaves is definitely still a front runner. It's always going to be a strong scent. So no shocker, top three front runners, can't even put them in the list. Strongest candles, summer boardwalk, pumpkin pecan waffles, and leaves. All right, you guys, so those are the three top front runners. We know those are strong. So you guys want to know what are the five other strongest candles that I've burned? So let's jump into it. First one, this candle was called Butt First Coffee. I'll throw the picture up on the screen. Butt First Coffee, this came out in, I'm estimating 2016. It was out for a very, very short time. Um, they had this kind of uh, discrepancy where they had to pull them all off of the shelves, just a fun little tidbit of info for you guys. It was a copyrighted picture, so they quickly pulled this particular packaging and um, redid it, I think, in maybe like a white barn label. I can't quite remember. But that's the first time I ever burned a um, coffee type fragrance um, that was that strong of like a black coffee fragrance. This version, at least for me, was super, super strong. I was very surprised. I didn't think I would even like a coffee type fragrance. I actually do have one unburned one of Butt First Coffee because I thought the packaging was so darling. It's in storage, I don't have it right now, um, but one of the strongest fragrances, it's, it's definitely up there with one of my top five. Those of you who don't know about Butt First Coffee, they repackaged it, they renamed it. Um, now it comes out as, I believe, Paris Cafe. Um, there was also one that was kind of a precursor to Butt First Coffee, that was Espresso Bar. I never burned espresso bar, but that came out like the year before, so maybe 2015, if I'm not mistaken. It was a dark brown um, wax, and it just had these big block letters. It was part of their destination collection. I believe it was Italy espresso bar, and on cold, that thing was insanely strong. I was always curious about it, but I never got it because I didn't want my house. I like coffee, but I didn't think I'd want my house to smell like coffee. But um, anyhow, when Butt First Coffee came out, I broke down, I got it, cute packaging on it. They didn't have it out that long before they repackaged it, and it was very strong. I think I even have a review up of Butt First Coffee. All right, next one, you guys. So this one, this is recent, and this is shocking. This is very, very surprising. Um, and no joke, you guys, one of the strongest candles that I've burned, and, and I don't know if I'm giving it a... Uh, I was shocked by who it was from. So Yankee Candles Maple Sugar. This season's Maple Sugar, their 50th anniversary collection, incredibly strong. It was so strong that it was lingering. Like a day or two later, I was walking by the area I had it, had it burned and it had like embedded itself in like the curtains, in the fabric, in my towels, in the blankets. It, it, it was like you were getting wafts of this caramely, syrupy scent. I, I think I've only had a handful of Bath & Body Works candles that have done that. Um, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles has done that. Summer Boardwalk has done this. But Yankee Candles Maple Sugar, this year's version, the 50th anniversary version, I do have a review up of it. One of the strongest candles that I've burned. I was shocked about the lingering effects of it, and it's just a strong, strong scent. Very, very impressed with that one. So that's Yankee Candles, Maple Sugar, and that's this season. And the rest of these are from a while back. Coconut Sandalwood. I'll throw the picture up. This is from, I'm estimating, about 2016-ish. Um, I'm not a huge coconut fan or straight coconut, but I love a good sandalwood fragrance. The two of those blended together, really beautiful scent. On cold, it was gorgeous. I remember getting home, lighting it up. It was almost, and there's not a lot of candles that I have to like extinguish or, or put out. It, it was almost over the top, obnoxiously strong. It was a beautiful fragrance. Um, for me, it was almost on par, similar to how I feel about Bath & Body Works leaves now. Um, I love the scent, but it becomes so much, so, so much. So if I already threw it up on the screen, coconut sandalwood from Bath and Body Works, it was such a gorgeous scent. 
I don't know if it's ever been repackaged or, or named something else, but I distinctly remember coconut sandalwood being very, very strong, almost borderline obnoxiously strong. It would be really pretty if they brought it back and even toned it down a little bit. Beautiful, beautiful, smooth sandalwood scent with like um, a little bit of a smooth kind of toasted coconut. Gorgeous fragrance, very, very strong, very strong. I don't think I have a review up of that one, but I do remember burning that one and um, being very surprised. All right, moving right along, you guys. These two are some of the strongest fragrances I've also burned, one from each brand. So, <laughs> and I don't know if it's because this is the type of fragrance. Sometimes florals can be insanely strong anyways, but Bath and Body Works, Fresh Cut Lilac Slash, Lilac Blossom. So the picture I'm going to throw up on the screen, Lilac Blossom was the first time I ever burned this fragrance. Sometimes it's called Fresh Cut Lilacs. Sometimes they call it Lilac Blossom. Very, very strong scent. Super um, pungent floral fragrance. Not a white floral. It's got a little bit of a um, sweet sea floral, but it smells like true lilac. Beautiful fragrance. Very, very strong. I remember that was the first time I had ever burned like a full on floral fragrance other than a rose type candle. And I was very shocked about how strong it was. Now another one, this is one of the first candles I ever burned, Yankee Candles Lilac Blossom. I haven't burned their Lilac Blossom recently. Um, sometimes they can be a little bit too much for me nowadays. I, I, I like a strong candle, but sometimes they can be too much. But I do remember one of the first Yankee Candles I ever burned was a small single wick tumbler in Lilac Blossom. And I was, I was surprised that little itty bitty candle, that single wick was filling the bedroom and it was very strong. It was almost to where I had to only let it go for a couple hours. And um, that's when I first started getting into candles. That was probably one of the first Yankee Candles I ever burned, that and Yankee Candles Vanilla Cupcake. But the Lilac Blossom from Yankee Candle, was it Lilac Blossom? Yeah, I believe it was possibly 2016's version, maybe even 2015. It might even be before I was doing candle reviews. And um, I think I got it at like a Bed Bath & Beyond or something. Um, anyhow, one of the stronger candles Lilac fragrances tend to be strong anyways, but I'll say this, Bath & Body Works and Yankee Candles versions, at least the ones I've burned, have always been quite strong. Can't speak to Lilac Blossom from Yankee Candle now, haven't burned it in a long time. I do know that about a year and a half ago, two years ago, Bath & Body Works Fresh Cut Lilacs was still quite strong. I know some of these were probably shocking and surprising to you. These are the strongest ones that I can remember that stuck out to me as far as strength and throw. Like I said, the top three front runners that summer boardwalk, pumpkin pecan waffles and leaves. Of course, is it a big shocker? Bath and Body Works has the majority of these on the list. Not a surprise to me. Comment down below. Let me know what some of the strongest candles you have ever burned are. Did I leave any off the list? Are there any obvious candles that you're sitting there just screaming at the screen going, why didn't she put this on the list? That one's so strong. Do you guys disagree? Do you think maybe some of these weren't that strong? Let me know in the comments down below. Before I sign off, I want to let you guys know I'm on Instagram, just as I was talking about earlier. If you guys aren't already following me, come find me at life, L-I-F-E underscore with W I teach underscore letter L. You guys, I like to use Instagram to post upcoming videos, polls, things like that. Come find me. And you guys, before I sign off, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to those of you who did respond and reply to the Q&A that I had going this um, yesterday, yesterday evening. I might do a secondary video because I know some of you want to know what my fall favorites are. So I might have that coming for you in the coming days. You guys, that's it for me today. Thank you for sticking with me. As always, I hope you are having an awesome day, an awesome evening, an awesome weekend, whatever time it is you're watching this video. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye, guys.